I once bought frozen mussels and defrosted them and ate them raw in Thailand and got food poisoning and then cured myself with store-bought Thailand juices. That's why I'm the health guru, not you. I'll answer five people right now if you don't mind. Let's make babies. Let's make babies. So if you ever have a question, post it down below. Try not to bore me. We have five per show, and I have saved five now. Meat for muscle tissue, veggies to prevent disease, fruits for car or carbs for endurance. Eat a balanced diet, folks. Not that hard. Listen, you slimy little shit. A balanced diet for healthy people could get you by, but some of us need help. I like my fringe fad diets that are just only meat or only meat and a little bit of fruit. Juice fast. Come on. It's fun times. People overcome disease on this kind of stuff. And most people have allergies, food intolerances, stuff they can't digest. If you just throw a balanced diet at somebody who has chronic sickness, they're probably not going to see results. You're re reacting to the gluten something's bugging you citrus fruits oh my god the oxalates from the spinach you gotta narrow things down a bit don't you but i get this comment quite a bit just eat a balanced diet what's wrong with you i don't know one fad youtuber who healed himself of both leprosy and herpes at the same time eating a balanced diet that's not going to get you very far it's got to be more targeted in my opinion you go keto oh it was the sugar What's a balanced diet going to do if you have like candida and you're reacting to sugar, throwing a bunch of foods? No. If you're bloated and crazy, it's like, oh, just eat grains and beans and nuts and seeds and meats and fats and fats. And... No. One thing I see when it comes to diet influencers is that near none of them have a degree in nutrition. That means they're smarter. You know the dumbest people are university educated? Those are the people falling for the you-know-what's. And the, let's wear a Halloween mask into the grocery store. Because they were taught to listen to authority instead of thinking for themselves. So like degrees? People always oh, this guy's not even a doctor. Doctors are the dumbest of all people. They study the least amount of nutrition. Anybody who's Googled a couple diets, a couple fad diets is smarter than a doctor in nutrition. Kind of. Some of the so-called doctors giving dietary advice are chiropractors, no more qualified than a local bookkeeper when it comes to such advice. Chiropractors are funny. I think it's the easiest way to become a doctor. It's like, I'm a doctor. No, you're a chiropractor. I think it's a lot easier, but they're cool. They adjust your spine. They know some stuff. Beware the bro science approaches when it comes to your dietary habits. I only follow bros for science thank you fasting was all the rage and now new studies have that practice in question not one study fasting is the only thing we know for sure is gonna heal you if nothing else will it's fasting who are you even listening to i do not follow doctors for nutrition advice i do not care about the science because most of it's paid off by companies trying to sell you something trying to prove that their product is healthy. You don't need a degree in anything to heal yourself. Anybody can think and learn and read and see what other people are doing. Try it for yourself. Oh, that didn't work. Try something else. Find some path to follow and try it yourself. And if it sounds too stupid, you're probably not going to try it like a cabbage only diet for weight loss. Really? And there's like no calories. It's only farts. Like you'll find your path. You don't have to have a degree. I, I don't like putting like doctors, dietitians on these pedestals who are just like, these are their, our gods. You know, funny story. My girlfriend, fiance, I love you. She's talking about like, she was talking with some colleagues and a lot of people have the perception that when you go to school, that's everything you've learned. And then you practice that. Like she's an acupuncturist. I'm not explaining this very well. She learned acupuncture in school and then that's all she ever teaches. Everything she does now, she learned away from school. Almost nothing in school was what is her foundation now. It was further learning 
on the internet, finding other health gurus who have practiced and like, no, this is the real truth. Electric acupuncture and only a couple points. And she's found out so much after school. Everybody has this false belief that a school knows everything and teaches these experts. And now they are educated where it's like every doctor who knows stuff about nutrition learned it after just like me and you. So it's like, we can learn. You don't have to be a doctor. Just having that title, if anything, you just wasted eight years you could have spent on the internet researching fad diets. So like, schools do not teach you everything. It's not, nobody has the answer. We're all changing, we're all different. Everything is crazy. So it's like, you can learn after. You don't just go to school and, oh, there's all the answers. It's continued forever and it, things change over time. The zodiacs, you never know what's going to happen. Capricorn over here, freaking help, help. I'm cleansing my liver this week, probably with the full moon. Yeah, that sounds normal. Should I take a day off of the day of the release? I don't think I can clear my calendar for a day one. My life is packed. If you're going to cleanse something, like you're doing the Zen cleanse, liver cleanse through my affiliate links with a 5% discount code, you take the day off, man. You don't go to work. Like, have fun with the diarrhea at work. How much are you going to get done? It's like, okay, I'll just write this email. Oh, okay, let me just run to the bathroom real quick. Okay, you come back. Oh, running again. What are you doing? Like, if you're going to cleanse, you're going to fast. Like, don't do a lot unless you become breatharian. I caught myself thinking you can't do anything while you fast. Like when I fast, I'm breatharian for the day. So I just go about my day, but I'm not flushing my gut with like powerful herbs and stuff. You're crazy. So like, don't No, you stay at home. You don't do like the Zen cleanse, colon cleanse on the road. It's like, oh, wonder what's going to happen in the truck. Hopefully it's okay. It's a nine hour drive, but and there's no rest stops, but I'm just going to take this colon cleanse. What could happen? A lot of bad things, car accidents, and diarrhea. So like, no, take the day off. Zen cleanse, down there. Marcus Rothkrantz just released a video saying that liver cleanses are like a scam, they're proven. He's had like stones, or his friends have analyzed the stones. It's like, it's just the olive oil. It's probably true. We get scammed quite easily. But I do know a lot of people who have done a bunch of liver flushes and they got healthier somehow. So like whatever it's doing, maybe it's placebo, it works in some people. So like I kind of want to do the Zen Cleanse liver flush. I might buy three of them for a super clickbaity video. I did three liver flushes in one week. This is what happened. It'll get 17 views. What your mom thought about your music and YouTube channels. She, whenever I was there, and played a video for her, like, oh, did you see this one? She's like, oh, no, I didn't see it. Because she doesn't watch me at all. And then she would be laughing. I'm like, why are you watching the mall? I'm your son. She just didn't care. She loved me. She was proud of me. And she watched some and enjoyed them when she did. But, like, she wasn't keeping up with it. She's like, you're crazy. You're, you change your diet so much. Who knows what to believe? You're fruitarian. Meat's bad. Now you're only eating meat. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't even know. She couldn't keep up with it. But, like, she watched it occasionally. The odd one. I remember her being so mad. Remember when I released that Nazi video a long time ago? Vegan Nazi. And she was like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. And, and then... The day after, after getting all this hate, I released that Black People Will Never Slaves video. And she was like, like just watching it angry. I was watching it with her and I'm just like, God, it's funny. It's funny. And she's like, this is not funny at all. This is the word, what are you doing? I don't know, she didn't, she wasn't a huge fan. I don't think she subbed. And as for the music, she liked some of it, but she was more into natural, actual instruments, guitars. Like, she's old school. She likes the Beatles, no matter how satanic they are. It's like, okay, I understand. Mine's more, like, electronic and, like, it's the new generation. It's always the last generation doesn't appreciate the new generation. That's kind of where we fell. 
All right, last question here. You're crazy, but I love you. What do you think about rice diet or starch diet? Of all the diets, I think that might be the least natural with the worst results. I know some people thrive on it. I've tried it. I've done raw till four. I've done raw till lunch, which is all starch from noon on. And I've done nothing but starch in the starch solution. I do remember one time I wanted to see if eating nothing but grains and vegetables with no salt would cure my acne and it did, but I was so bloated. It was the worst thing ever and so tired. It was three giant meals. Ah. Some people thrive on it, but I just see starch is the least energizing food. I feel so tired after eating a big meal of starch. And then it's like the digestion is slow. Nothing is good about it. It's gassy. It's just, it's not raw hippie stuff. Nobody agrees. Like most people are in a camp where it's like, okay, raw fruits and vegetables, that's natural. Others say meat is an important addition to that. Some people cook the odd sweet potato. Oxalate, freak. I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan of the starch. It's just slow, it's like glue in the gut. It, slow energy release. It's nothing, like fruit is better if you're on carbs. Meat is way better if you're on fat. I'm not a huge fan, not a fan. So, I'm a guru. I've helped you all so much. Don't you agree? You could choose to thumb this video down if you are eating rice mixed with cricket legs, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and a plum on the side. The cricket legs are the least important part of our future diet that Klaus Schwabenstein has gifted us. It, everyone knows it's the inner body part that's the best. I had a dream there was some type of animal fiber that I needed. So I'm going to work on that. How are you doing? You subscribing for more videos? And I'll see you next